reducing hair loss. Well, finally tonight, an inspiring look at what's possible when creativity and engineering combine with dedicated doctors to solve a problem. Two doctors here in Charlotte have developed a breakthrough procedure to help people who have lost fingers. They've figured out how to get their hand working like it used to. Now people are calling and coming to Charlotte from all over the world. Carolina Impact's Suzanne Stevens joins us in the studio with more. This breakthrough procedure you talked about began in a way that might surprise you. The doctors were brainstorming, they were problem solving, and they sketched it out on a napkin, believe it or not. Now the technique is doing more than helping people regain full use of their hands. It's giving people their lives back. Eddie Chapman spends a lot of time at home now in Lincolnton. Look closely. After losing three fingers in a machine accident at work, he's not working now. He's not doing a lot of hunting or fishing like he used to either. He's not able to completely tie his shoe. But here's what he can and is doing. He comes to Charlotte once a month to meet with a team of orthopedic surgeons, other patients, and therapists. These are the two surgeons who developed what's called the starfish procedure, a procedure that gives him what he didn't think was possible, five fully functioning fingers. I just thought I wouldn't have any fingers. I found out about the new procedure about, uh, about six months after I lost my fingers. What'd you think? I thought, oh boy. I thought I'm going to do this. I said I'm going to go through all, everything they want me to do. Basically a partial hand prosthetic would close and open. So you basically you functioned like a hook. Now with after patients have had the starfish procedure they can move each finger naturally without even thinking about it. it the surgery itself takes about two hours. Doctors move the muscles on the hand into a different place so they can respond to the electrodes for each individual finger on a prosthetic. The surgeons have now done this seven times with no failures. Once we were able to get the prosthetic made and have it put on the hand, to see him think about moving each of those fingers and controlling it on a prosthetic hand without any training was an amazing, amazing feeling. On this particular visit, Eddie is having his prosthetic refit after an adjustment surgery to one of his fingers. He remembers when it worked the very first time. He spent four hours trying to retrain his finger muscles because remember, that's all he had left. You know, I wanted to move that finger, so I had to think real hard and work out muscle. I had to work each muscle for each finger, so I had to learn how to do that. I had to learn how to manipulate that muscle to make that finger move the way I wanted it to move. So the doctors at Ortho Carolina came up with the idea and developed the surgery, but they couldn't create the actual hand. They had to team up with a prosthetics company. They chose Hanger Clinic here in Charlotte. This is part scientific laboratory, part manufacturing plant, and part art studio. The technicians work with a plaster cast of the patient's hand, so they know where to put the sensors on the prosthetic hand. This very room is where the engineers realized they could create what the surgeons wanted. Mike Jenks is on that team and remembers the moment. Put the electrode sights on the back of the gentleman's hand and we're like, all right, I want you to think, you know, move your middle finger. I want you to think, move your ring finger. And the fingers moved. And he thought, well, that's what they're supposed to do. We're flipping out, going, oh my gosh, this is so great, it actually worked. There are a lot of moving parts, so to speak, in the prosthetic hand. Electrodes, ratchets, buckles, batteries, fingers, wires, silicone sockets, and more. And the engineers here work with the surgeons to continue researching other breakthroughs. We can bring ideas to them. They can bring ideas to us. We can push and challenge each other. Um, we can challenge manufacturers uh, to, hey, this is what we think we can do. We need your help to be able to put all this together. Ortho Carolina uses a team approach for every case. Patients get to meet and learn things from other people who've lost a limb. A lot of them are heavily depressed, down in the dumps, having pain, and now all of a sudden for them to see Wow, they get a new excitement, a new outlook on life, a new vigor. And the doctors learn a lot from the patients. Because we have a special clinic like this, we spend a lot of time with them. And I think they, we really grow close to each other, get a lot of time to listen to them. And that's how we tweak the prosthetics and make them better. I was just, just so grateful. I mean, it's just, and you know, I can open a door again. I can, I can pull my pants up. I, <laughs> I can zip my coat up. So life is good for Eddie and Lincolnton, thanks to a team of innovative doctors in Charlotte.
I do have to tell you, not everyone is a candidate for the surgery. You do have to have enough finger muscles and nerves left in the hand that still work. But word is out, and Ortho Carolina will soon start consulting with other doctors around the world to do this. Thanks so much, Suzanne. Doctors are also working on a study with children who were born without fingers to see if they can help them too. Well, it could be argued that the most vibrant communities invest in the health of its residents.